Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, the Crypto Siege, with another day in the life and the crazy life that is cryptocurrency. What is going on, guys? Just wanted to uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video about this article that I came across the other day. Thought it might have been yesterday uh, from Bloomberg, and uh, stating that XRP was a pump and dump scheme, a pump and dump scheme. Have you guys seen this article? If you have, please let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, I thought it was interesting that it was by, the article was written by Jason Bloomberg. And you guys probably know uh, over the past, I don't know, five, six months, there's been a lot of negative articles uh, of uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt type FUD articles from Forbes and from Bloomberg. Uh, the digital asset investor actually went through, went through a little bit of a deep dive about uh, Forbes and come to find out that some, somebody sent some, some information that you know, Forbes was actually sold to an Asian company back in 2014. A lot of people probably don't know that, but it was sold to an Asian company back in 2014. And so, you know, the further the, the dive, the deep dive went, it, it ended up being... Uh, uh, a person, one or two people who were also owners in ASUS, A-S-U-S, the computer company that actually mines cryptocurrencies. And obviously since, again, since XRP is not a mineable currency, it's a threat to those that are. And that is really the bottom line to it all. And, um, I mean, the digital asset investor put it out there and said that maybe there's no correlation to that. But I, I think that obviously, you know, that would make sense because in the end, it's one of those, you know, the wealthy old money type of things. And remember, I've always said that old money doesn't want you to win. <coughs> Excuse me. And they control the media. <coughs> so it's easy to make a phone call and, and say this is what we're going to do, find some person who can do this or whatever, <coughs> find some contributor or whatever and do it. And I and I believe it, if probably, if you look deep down inside the whole Bloomberg thing, you probably would find something similar. In either case, it's old, it's old money doesn't want you to win. In the end, if this fear, uncertainty, and doubt about uh, XRP is a reason for it, it's a reason why MSM, as Love for Crypto would say, mainstream media would try to put a negative spin on it because old money owns the media. That is the bottom line. But I do think that there is a, a kind of a proof of work type of thing and uh, XRP, and, and I think there's you know there's there's reasons for the people and the P proof of work camp to be a little threatened because of uh, XRP, obviously. That is, that's just a real deal. Competition is just competition. That's just how the world works. And there, if there's going to be something that's threatening, threatening them, you know, they're going to put this stuff out. So, obviously, there were, you know, Bitcoin was first, so there was they have this first movers advantage, and there are people who are heavily and in, invested in it, and they now realize that XRP is a massive, massive massive threat. You know, you can't look at, you know, all the articles with Brad Garlinghouse and, and, and people from Ripple and, and IMF and, and you can't you can't feel uncomfortable when you see you know, the company Ripple being mentioned in executive orders. Christine Lagarde is going around and mentioning that mentioning Ripple in the digital asset. Never mentions uh, uh, the any any proof of work coin. Right? There's a reason for that. And so they obviously know that there is a threat there. They obviously know there's a threat there. And here's the other part of that as well that is disconcerting. And, you know, I want you guys to kind of really, really get. Never, ever forget the Jamie Diamonds of the world. Never, ever forget that. You, you have to always remember that narrative. And that is they will... FUD, they will crap on something to scare you out of it while they accumulate it. You 
got to always remember that is in their tool belt. They will do that. And so, you know, don't think that it's just Jamie Dimon. It's, you know, it's people behind Forbes. It's the people behind Bloomberg. Never, ever forget that. And they're trying to scare people out. And I, when I saw this pump and dump scheme, I'm surprised I haven't seen a video from the people in the XRP community about it yet. Um, I think it's interesting. And, I, I, I'm, and, it, and it's perhaps for this reason, uh, and I thought about this yesterday, you know, the way the internet and things work, you know, the more you click on it, the more it's seen, the more it's viewed, right? And so, like, a lot of times when you Google and, and try to do some homework on something, because you're searching it, it becomes more available in the search. It gets higher up there in the search engine. It becomes more clickable. People clicking on it to learn more about it. And it becomes more and more and more and more and more viewed. And so the idea is you can kind of expose... Uh, you can expose these people without having to click on their website and go to the particular article. And I, and I, and I saw something from Love From Crypto... Uh, this morning Now the title is interesting. The title is if you think XRP is a scam something and I think it was some kind of curse word in there And it wasn't from Curtis from the other guy. I think it's Scott uh, That does the videos walking around. And I love it does the videos walking around Gary Vee style and um, And I think the reason why he just he kind of put it in the title and never referenced the magazine is so that you know a bunch of people from the XRP community don't go on the site, don't search it, don't search it, don't go on Google and try and find it because the more you do that, the more you search it, the more you go on it, the more it becomes exposed. It gets up higher in their search engines, blah, blah, blah. It's a term in marketing. Uh, and I forget what that term is, what that is called. And so that's probably why they didn't do it. The guys from Love for Crypto know that. But um, because, you know, again, you don't want to click on it. If you click on it, it becomes more, it gets up there more and more people kind of see it. And, you know, we don't want to promote this negative in, in, in that case, in that sense. We can expose it, but we don't want, we want to promote it. So I'm thinking that's probably what the guys from Love From Crypto were doing. But in any case, very, very interesting. Uh, and I'm reading this, I'm re I didn't get even a chance to read the article in the detail because uh, I was, uh, I had some business, we were out of town uh, doing some uh, some business stuff and couldn't really deep dive into it. But I did think, you know, uh, you know, do I really wanna click on the article? Do I really wanna, you know, whatever, whatever, because I know that game and how it works. And that's probably the same reason with Love for Crypto did what they did. And so just kinda expose that, but just understand there's a reason for that. There's a reason for the fun. There is a reason for it, right? And we all know that the, the XRP is the most liquid asset the world has ever seen. And we all know, we've done our homework, the, 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 the crisis, the global economic crisis is about the lack of liquidity or liquidity. <laughs> As my dude from Love for Crypto would say, uh, so so we know that, and then, so there is a threat to it. There, there's a threat to, you know, the people who uh, are in the proof of work coins. And it's, XRP is a massive threat, no question about it. And so the idea is, don't let that scare you. Don't let that. There's a game being played here, and old money knows that they have money and they have time. They have money and they have time to wait. They know that. They know that. And so they are trying to scare you out of your digital asset. And if you're an XRP holder, the greatest digital asset ever created. They know that. They know they can play the waiting game. You know, so you got to get that that's the game. And you have to resolve. Just like Love for Crypto says, live long and hold. You have to, you have to resolve that's just what you're going to do. You know, that's the reason why we do these videos is, you know, that's why the XRP community has so many people, content creators doing videos, is to inform the meet, uh, uh, to inform the regular Joes and the regular Janes, us, what's really going on. That's why the digital asset investor is doing his thing. That's why Sam I am to the lifeboats, to the lifeboats is doing his thing. That's why Love for Crypto is doing their thing. That's why SPQR Media is doing their thing. And CKJ and Backup Brad Kynes and Alex Cobb and 
DM Logic. It's a re that's a reason. That's why we're doing this. That's why we do what we do. Because we gotta hang in there. We gotta stick together. Because old money doesn't want us to win. Never ever, guys. Never ever forget that. Never ever forget that. So that's the game. That is the game. And understand that they're trying to scare you out of your money while they accumulate. That is the game. That is the game. Because trust me when I say this. The IMF and an executive order from the President of the United States would not be mentioning Ripple and or XRP if it wasn't the absolute answer or part of the absolute answer to the global economic crisis why would the IMF mention Ripple you gotta think about that you gotta think about that guys so anyway guys so here's the deal I'm gonna wrap up I just wanna tell you again that old never ever forget that old money doesn't want us to win they want us to remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of training our trading our time for dollars Never ever forget it. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. This is, guys, this is our time. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't let your money work for you. Don't let anyone ever tell you that. Don't fall into this mindset of you got to do this grind thing. Not that anything is wrong with that. But what I'm saying is you can Leverage your cash flow and have your money work for you. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. The battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it, guys. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.